Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create video lessons using PowerPoint and also how to share them with students using eBoard um, and Edmodo and Edpuzzle and YouTube. So we start with a PowerPoint presentation. Here's a silly one I made about basic mathematical operations. And what we need to do is uh, kind of teach PowerPoint um, how much time we want to spend on each slide and also record our narrations. So we go to slideshow up top and then we click on record slideshow. And we want both of these to be checked. We want it to remember uh, the timing for each slide and we also want it to record our narrations. And as soon as you're ready to go, you can hit start recording and it's gonna start doing those things, timing the slides and recording whatever you say into the microphone. Uh, so let's go. This lesson is about basic mathematical operations. The first operation we'll talk about is addition. Addition is when you add one number to the other. It uses the plus symbol. An example of this is two plus two equals four. The next operation is subtraction. In subtraction, we subtract one number from the other. This uses the minus symbol. An example of this is five minus three equals two. The next operation is multiplication. In multiplication, we multiply one number by the other. This uses the times symbol. An example of this is two times three equals six. And finally, we have division. This is when we divide one number by the other. It uses the divided by symbol. An example is eight divided by four equals two. When you're done with the recording, you can just hit escape. And now you see on the bottom right of each slide, there's uh, a little speaker symbol which, which shows you that you have narrations recorded for them. And so that's all done. So now we can just go to File, Export. And under Export, one of the options should be Create a Video. Right? And I want to create it using the highest resolution, 1280 by 720. I want it to be nice, uh, big, clear picture. And I definitely wanted to use the recorded timings and narrations. And that should be it. You can just hit create video. Uh, I'm going to save it uh, right on the desktop. Uh, I'll give it the same name as the PowerPoint presentation itself. And you can see down here it's uh, you know processing. Okay, uh, we can see that the processing is done. And if we minimize PowerPoint, we can see that this video has been created and we can even play it and just make sure that it works. This lesson is about basic mathematical operations. The first operation we'll talk about is addition. Okay, great, it works. Uh, that's excellent. Now let's go about sharing this with our students. Uh, let's start with uh, an eboard. Uh, I think a lot of people use eboards. And this is so. If it's something you already use, it might be a really easy way to share something with your students. So uh, I logged in already, and I put it into edit mode, and I'm going to add a note, and um, I'm giving the note a title, and you can type any description in that you want. Most importantly, down here, attachments. We can choose an attachment. I'm going to choose this video file that I just created, and that's it. I'm going to hit save. Uh, you can see over here it's uploading the video. N now here it is, right on your eboard. Students can click on this note, and if they click on this link for the video, it pops up, and that video is playing. Mathematical operations. The first operation will talk. And there we go. Uh, that's it. And I'll close that for now. Um, some of you might use Edmodo, or you might want to start using Edmodo. Uh, the benefit of this is that. Um, you can have students turn in an assignment. Uh, if you ask students questions within the video or um, ask them to answer a question after they've watched the video, you can see that they did that. So we can create this as an assignment. Let's call this Math Operations. And then here's the assignment. Watch, oops, watch the video and submit your answer to the following question what is 3 plus 4 okay so I'm gonna send this to a class that I made called test and I'm going to include a file and I'm gonna include the file that is the video that I just created and it's uploading Oh, there we go. It's all set. So I can hit send. I'm going to send this assignment to my test class. Oh, due date. Okay, let's make it due on Friday. And so here we go. Here's the assignment. 
right? No one has turned it in. This is the description of the assignment. And if you click on this link, just like on the eboard, it comes up. And here's the video. It's about basic mathematical operations. So students can watch the video here, and then they can go back to the main Edmodo page, and they could turn in the assignment, type in that the answer is seven, and you could check that they, uh, that they did that. Um, what I think is probably the best service to use for uh, the flipped classroom is Edpuzzle. Uh, Edpuzzle allows students to turn in assignments, um, answer questions, but what it's really great at is that Edpuzzle will show you um, which of your students actually watch the video and how many times they watch the video or how many times they watch, watch certain parts of the video. It's, it's exactly made for the flip classroom. And you can find YouTube videos um, and turn them into your own or uh, you can use your own. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. So this is the main homepage for Edpuzzle and under my content, uh, under create here, we're going to select upload video and I'll select a video from the folder again, basic mathematical operations. It's uploading. Okay, and this will be ready in a second. Uh, I'll show you how we can make a, a short little video lesson for homework using this. Okay, there we have it. Uh, so I'm going to click right on here, this like an edit button. And here's my video. If I wanted to um, cut out parts of it, I could, but since I made this myself, I don't see any reason to. Um, you can add narrations to it, but it's already narrated by me. Um, you can add audio notes, but again, that's already done. What I like to do is add uh, questions. So at certain parts of the video, we can add questions. So maybe after the addition slide, we can add the question Click on here, add a question. Let's make it multiple choice. What is three plus four? And let's give three choices. Let's say seven, let's say six, and let's say and one. Maybe they subtract instead. Oh, yeah, let's add a question mark on there. Uh, there we go. We can say done. All right. And then later on, at the end of subtraction, we can ask another question. Add a question by clicking right there. Okay, and we can do this for each each part of the video. That would be a good way to test that kids know how to do each thing. So add a question. Oh, by the way, th this is an open-ended question where students can type in their answer. This is a multiple choice question. Uh, and this is just, you could type in a note. A note would pop up that students would have to read before continuing the video. Oh, so I, I, I started that as an open-ended question. If I click on multiple choice, it, it brings it over. So the answer is three, and incorrect answers could be um, 12 and four and that's it we're done and so we can click done um, title of it by default is the name of the video so I'll just take out the the ending there and we can save it um, we could assign it to a class that's been created I'm not gonna do that uh, prevent skipping is something I like the students actually have to watch the whole video straight through answer the questions uh, instead of skipping around which is kind of how uh, you would present that in a lecture, so that's how I want to do it uh, for um, students. So anyway, oh, uh, oh, just no thanks. We don't want to assign this right now. All right, well, anyway, here it is, and we could assign this video to one or more of our classes, and, uh, and that's that. Uh, finally, and this is what I like to do because I want to share my videos with however many people will find them useful, uh, you can upload them to YouTube. If you have a Gmail account, you kind of have a YouTube account, I think. Uh, if not, you can sign up for one. I've already logged in. And I can upload a video right here, uh, top right, button called Upload. And once again, I'll select files to upload. Just click right there. I'll pick Basic Mathematical Operations. And it's uploading. Uh, the title is already the title. Um, you can write a description. You can add some tags. You can make it public, 
uh, where anyone can find it, or unlisted where you need a link, or private where only you could actually see it. You have to be logged in to see it. Um, there are advanced settings about allowing comments. You could turn that off uh, and all that stuff. I kind of just leave it the default stuff. Um, you could also pick a thumbnail. So I don't know, let's just do this one where there's some actual words in the in the thing. Uh, anyway, publish. Being saved. Okay, there we go. Um, if I click over here on my profile and go to Creator Studio, and I click on Video Manager, I'll find there it is. Basic mathematical operations. So this this is a YouTube video now. Um, it'll play right in YouTube, just like anything else. It's about basic mathematical operations. All of this is two. You could copy and paste this link up here. You can go down to. Uh, the share settings, uh, copy and paste this link, share that with students however you like. So there we have it. We learned how to create a video lesson using a PowerPoint presentation, and we learned how to upload this to an eboard, and how to upload this to Edmodo, and Edpuzzle, and also just to YouTube. There you have it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Have a good day.